In the data lake we see it's evolving and Chaos Search has built some pretty cool tech to enable customers to get more value out of data that's in lakes so that it doesn't become stagnant. Time to dig, dig deeper, dive deeper into the water. We're here with Kevin Miller, who's the Vice President and General Manager of S3 at Amazon Web Services. We're going to talk about activating S3 for analytics. Kevin, welcome, good to see you again. Yeah, thanks Dave, it's great to be here again. So S3 was the very first service offered by AWS 15 years ago. We covered that out in Seattle. It was a great event you guys had. It has become the most prominent and popular example of object storage in the marketplace. And for years, customers use S3 as simple, cheap data storage. But because there's so much data now stored in S3, customers are looking to do more with the platform. So Kevin, as we look ahead to reInvent this year, we're super excited about that. What's new? What's got you excited when it comes to the AWS flagship storage offering? Yeah, Dave, well, that's right. And, and we're definitely looking forward to reInvent. We have some fun things that we're planning to announce there. So stay tuned on those. But I'd say that one of the things that's most exciting for me as customers do more with their data and look to, to store more, to capture more of the data that they're generating every day is our storage class that we had announced a few years ago. But we, we actually just announced some improvements the S3 Intelligent Tiering Storage class. And this is really our storage class, the only one in the cloud at this point that delivers automatic storage cost savings for customers where the data access patterns change. And that can happen, for example, as customers have some data that they're collecting and then a team spins up and decides to try to do something more with that data. And that data that was very cool and sitting sort of idle is now being actively used. And so with Intelligent Tiering, we're automatically monitoring data and then there's, for customers, there's no retrieval costs and no tiering charges. We're automatically moving the, the data into a, an access tier that reduces their cost, though, when that data is not being accessed. So we've announced some improvements to that just a few months ago. And I'll just say, look forward to some more announcements at reInvent that will extend, continue to extend what we have in our intelligent tiering storage class. And that's cool, Kevin. I mean, you've seen, you know, that technology, that tiering concept had been around, you know, but since back in the mainframe days, the problem was it was always inside a box. So you, you didn't have the scale of the cloud and you didn't have that automation. So I, I want right. to ask you, as the leader of S, S3, that business, when you meet with customers, Kevin, what do they tell you that they're, they're, they're facing as challenges when they want to do more, get better insights out of all that data that they've moved into S3? Well, I think that's just it, Dave. I think that most customers I speak with, they, of course, they have the, the things that they want to do with their storage costs, you know, reducing storage costs and just and, and making sure they have capacity available. But increasingly, I think the real emphasis is around business transformation. What can I do with this data that's very unique and different that either that unlike, you know, prior optimizations where it would just reduce the bottom line. They're saying, what can I do that will actually drive my top line more by either you know, generating new product ideas, um, allowing for faster you know, closed close loop process for acquiring customers. And so it's really that business transformation and the, all, everything around it that I think is really exciting. And, and for a lot of customers, that's a pretty long journey and, and helping them get started on that, including you know, transforming their workforce and upskilling you know, parts of their workforce to be more agile and more oriented around software development, developing new products using software. So when I first met the folks at, at Chaos Search, you know, Thomas took me through sort of the architecture with, with Ed as well. They had me at, you don't have to move your data. That was the, that was the grabber for me. And there are a number of public customers, Digital River, uh, Blackboard, or Klarna, we're going to get the customer perspective a little later on and others that use both AWS S3 and Chaos Search, and they're trying to get more out of their, their S3 data and execute analytics at scale. So I wonder if you could share with us, Kevin, what types of activities and, and opportunities do you see for customers like these that are making the move to put their enterprise data in S3 in terms of capabilities and outcomes that they are trying to achieve and are able to achieve beyond using S3 as just a bit bucket? Right. Well, Dave, I think you hit the nail on the head when you talk about outcomes, because that I think is, is key here. Customers want to reduce the time it takes to get to a tangible result that, that affects the business, that improves their business. And so that's one of the things that I excites me about what Chaos Search is doing here specifically is that automatic indexing, being able to, to take the data as it is in their bucket, 
index it and keep that index fresh and then allow for the customers to innovate on top of that and to try to experiment with you know, a new capability, see, see what works, and then double down on the things that really do work to, to drive that business. And so I just think that that capability reduces the amount of what I might call undifferentiated heavy lifting, the, the work to just sort of index and you know, organize and catalog data, and instead allow customers to really focus on, here's the idea, let's try to get this into production or into a test environment as quickly as possible to see if this can really drive some value for our business. Yeah, so you're seeing that sort of value that you mentioned, the non-differentiated heavy lifting, moving up the stack, right? It used to just be provisioning right. and managing the storage. Now it's all the layers above that and, and, and we're going beyond that. So my question to you, Kevin, is how do you see the evolution of this, all this data at scale? I'm especially interested as it pertains to data that's, of course, in S3, which is your swim lane. When you sure. talk to customers who want to do more with their data, and analytics, and by the way, even beyond analytics, you know, we're having conversations now in the community about, about building data products and, and creating new value, but how do you respond and how do you see Chaos Search fitting in to those outcomes? Well, I think that's, that's it, Dave. It's about kind of going up the stack and instead of spending time organizing and cataloging data, particularly as the data volumes get much larger. When you know, modern customers and modern data lakes that we're seeing quickly go from a few petabytes to tens to hundreds of petabytes or more. And when you're reaching that kind of scale of data, it, it's a single person can't reasonably kind of wrap their head around all that data. You need tools. Uh, S3 provides a number of first party tools and you know we're investing in things like our S3 batch operations to really help give the end users of that data, the business owners, that leverage to manage their data at scale and, and, and apply their, their new ideas to the data and, and, and generate you know, pilots and, and production work that really drives their business forward. And so I think that you know, Chaos Search, again, I would just say is a good example of you know, the kind of software that I think helps go up stack, automate some of that data management and just help customers focus really specifically on the things that they want to accomplish for their, their business. So this is really important. I mean, we've talked for you know, well over a decade how to get more value out of, out of data, and it's been challenging for a lot of organizations, but we're, see, we're seeing themes of scale, automation, fine-grained tooling, ecosystem participating uh, on top of that data, and then extracting right. that, that data value. So Kevin, I'm really excited to see you face-to-face <laughs> at reInvent and, and learn more about some of the announcements that you're going to make, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see you there. Yeah, stay tuned, looking forward to seeing you in person, absolutely. All right, great to have, have Kevin on. Keep it right there, because in a moment, we're going to get the customer perspective on how a leading practitioner is applying chaos search on top of S3 to create a business value from data. You're watching theCUBE, your leader in digital high-tech coverage. 